Hey, welcome to Coffee, 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 your place for average Joe coffee reviews. Today's coffee was developed by CeeLo Green. <laughs> so today we are reviewing Starbucks Guatemala Casi Cielo Antigua coffee. Huh. And so... You sound downright Guatemalan. <laughs> I'm sure I pronounced it all perfectly. Um, but so this is a medium roast from Starbucks. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, it's supposed to have elegant floral aromas with notes of bright Meyer lemon and cocoa nibs, a smooth body, and an unparalleled balance of flavors. That is some highfalutin verbiage. <laughs> it is. That's a lot to describe a cup of coffee. Yeah. Um, so this is kind of an interesting thing that Starbucks does for this particular roast. They only do it like once a year and it says limited availability. Um, like I saw, the McRib. <laughs> right. Uh, okay. You know, I did see a thing that said it's available like maybe, maybe like a January through March, but I was looking online trying to find, you know, like how much does this cost if you go and buy it in the store? And it was like, $23 on Amazon, which leads me to believe it's the price is, uh, you know, up mm -hmm. because it's like not, they haven't released a lot of it, or maybe right. they only do a very limited amount. But we found this in that um, store for $3.75. Yeah. And it's not out of date or anything. One so, pound. Yeah. So of special Starbucks coffee. Special. That is only available once a year and normally costs $23 a pound. We found it for three dollars yeah. seventy-five cents, which I'm pretty happy about. So. <laughs> when we bought it, the guy said, "Ooh, that's good. That's yeah. good coffee. Everybody likes that coffee." Ugh. There was another bag there. We should have gone back and got it. Should have. I wonder if it's still there. But I doubt it. Uh, but yeah, like so, Starbucks coffee. We there have been a couple right that we like, but generally we don't really yeah. enjoy them that much. Mm -hmm. I think they're usually kind of um, bitter, bitter, and we don't really like that. And so, just generally speaking. Whenever I see Starbucks, I'm usually like, oh, I don't know if I really want to buy that because, mm -hmm. you know, if it's a new one. But yeah. Now, if you saw our review of Pike Place from mm -hmm. like four years ago, mm -hmm. maybe it's been a while, maybe five. No, four. No, four. Four plus. Yeah. Uh, we didn't rate it very well. But yeah. we recently had it and we thought, OK, this is a, all right. Yeah. So it could have been a bad time for us then mm -hmm. or what? A bad, bad, a bad batch. batch. Bad batch. Maybe they, they, they might have it. changed it. They could have changed it. They could have taken it to that fish market and it got mixed up with some stuff in Seattle. Seattle fish market. <laughs> what are you talking about? And they're like, hello. And they're like throwing fish across everywhere. People go there and they put their gum on the wall. But what difference? What does that have to do with coffee? Coffee and fish don't mix. <laughs> so I'm saying that they accidentally went to the fish market. Oh, and that's that was the bag that we got. Yes. Oh, I see. Well, maybe Harry and Marv were there and they mixed it up. That was in New York. That's true. But they, I think in Home Alone 12, they were in San yeah. Francisco. Oh, Seattle. Seattle. <laughs> I said San Francisco. There is a fish market, right? I think there's fish markets all along. Oh, the well, it's Fisherman's Wharf. Yeah. That's what I was thinking of. That's where the famous wharf rats are from. Well, let's get back to the coffee. Drinking it already again. I am. I am. You know why? We already drank some of it. Because. I really like this coffee. Mm -hmm. I think it's. It does taste like Meyer lemons. <laughs> I mean, okay. I never had a Meyer I gotta lemon. say that. Like, I don't taste any lemony, lemony flavor. Like, normally. Because Meyer lemons are different. Than what? They're sweeter. Oh. But I don't get any kind of citrusy. Do you get Not like that limoncello like we had. Mm. Limoncello. We're gonna start a different channel called Limoncello, Limoncello. <laughs> I've had too much lemon chat. <laughs> no, we're not going to do that. But you wouldn't have had enough. Um, but I don't. I don't taste like. Do you taste any kind of like citrusiness? No, I really don't. But I do think I get like the dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. What they say, cocoa nibs. Cocoa nibs. Cocoa nibs. That's not like those things that my dad used to have in the car on like long drives, right? What did he have? Co coffee nibs. Coffee nibs are different. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I've I, never had a coffee like nib. Butterscotch looking things, oh. but taste like coffee. I don't know. I don't know if they had caffeine in them though. Coffee Maybe nibs. that's why he took them. Or yeah. he didn't take them. He ate them. <laughs> chewed on them. They were hard candy. Right. Or chewy hard candy. Mm. 
a chewy hard candy? You know, like a Werther's Original type feel. Mm. Well, Werther's Originals are hard. They're not soft. In the beginning. They're not like Jolly Rancher hard. Yeah, they are. No. Uh, I'm sorry, are we going to have to go buy some, some Werther's Original? Not with my blow money. <laughs> blow money is money that you use on things that you wouldn't normally buy anything with. Right. You can see Dave Ramsey yeah. about all that. But. I spend mine on beer. <laughs> Not all the time. Yeah. Today but. I bought mulch with it. <laughs> see, I'm responsible. <laughs> well. Oh, because I had dumped out a fish tank full of pebbles <laughs> onto Kayla's bromeliads. Not on the bromeliads, but on the mulch around the bromeliads. Because I thought, hey, people like rocks. Not me. And it didn't work. No. I had to dig them all up this morning. <laughs> She's out there with a whip. I did Get those it. things cleaned up. That's not true. So back to the coffee. The coffee nibs. So I mean, I've never had a coffee nib. I think that's like stuff that people eat instead of eating chocolate. Oh, because yeah? it's like less sugar or something like that. But I got to say, I really, really like this coffee. Mm -hmm. I'm, I mean, I'm talking. It's really good. Four and. But I have a question. Four and a half. No, four, 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 four to four. At the now. price we paid for it. At the price we paid for it, it's like the best find Let's ever. See, but you know. But now, if it was twenty four dollars a bag, I couldn't go that far. Like because you wouldn't even own it. <laughs> well, but what I mean is, like, if I was going to pay that much, I would go get some like locally roasted something. Yeah, like, and you'd have money left over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. But I have a question about nibs. <laughs> we recently purchased a tablet to draw on mm -hmm. and it said it had pen nibs mm -hmm. that's like the tip so this is the tip of coffee <laughs> the cocoa nibs it's cocoa nibs. saying that the coffee tastes like the tip of a cocoa bean i guess is that but that's not really what cocoa nibs are like i think that's what it's I'm asking. I, yeah perhaps we should have looked this up i didn't know that the nibs would we be the, the main <laughs> the main part of this video but you never know what you're gonna get here it's true you're like a box of chocolates. Mm -hmm. Cocoa nibs. Well, what would you rate it? Yeah, I would certainly give it mm. four. Uh, but the problem is the, the price of it. Yeah. Like if I'm going to tell somebody, hey, four and yeah. a half, but, but not I, if you're spending $22 a pound. I'm betting in the store, like in the grocery store, when it's available, it's not it's not that high. I mean, because Amazon, eBay, and uh, Walmart.com were the places I could find it. And it was that expensive, which leads me to believe it's not in the stores right, right now. Like I it's all sold it. out. Yeah. 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 So or overstocked where that lady who or the person, whoever they are, gets it for that thrift store thing mm -hmm. that yeah. we buy from. Thrift store can sign the shop. But yeah, this is like a really good coffee. Whenever I see this bag again at that place, certainly I'll buy it. But even if we were if we were at the store and it was a general kind of Starbucks price, which Tends to be like nine dollars, eight, eight or nine dollars, kind of depending on where you get it. But not for a pound. That's twelve ounces. Yeah, that's true. But pound, you know, I could see myself. Yeah, I could see myself paying like a regular, regular price, a regular Starbucks price. I would definitely pay for that. Now at regular price, it's like we were looking at our conditioner bottle, and it says fifteen percent more than our. 20 ounce 21.75 21. ounce bottle like what something? are you telling me you're telling me the bottle is 15 percent bigger that doesn't do anything it costs more too mm -hmm. it does it's a game things that say up to 100 percent cleansing <laughs> how far up i'm not going to comment on that those those are deceptive and misleading and they should be isn't that redundant put in front of the sec <laughs> or the acc or the big 10 one of them to have them determine what you know truth in marketing mm, what's in that coffee cocoa nibs mm. okay so you're with me on four would you give it four is mm -hmm. that what we said mm -hmm. four yeah so four minutes because as we've said nobody's as price conscious it's true as we are it's true we're very frugal this is certainly coffee that you could impress friends with mm. oh yeah however if you have friends who you need to impress with coffee they should not be your friends <laughs> that's not true why are you trying to impress people with coffee well i mean maybe not try to impress people yeah i guess if you're it, i 
Yeah. I see what you're saying. If the pride person, cometh before of the fall. Well, if the person, if you feel like you have to impress them it, in order to be their friend. Although I will say this, if you respect someone, don't you want them to feel good about you too? Yes. Like you, like when you, when you have people over, you try to put out your best before them. Right. And it's not like you're trying to manipulate them, but it's like, you're, you're, it's, it's part of being civilized. Right. Isn't it? The problem is, though, now what if we have somebody over and we say, all we have is Members Mart Donut Shop coffee. I wouldn't blame And they them. say, didn't you know we were coming over? <laughs> yeah, but this is all we had. So it is currently our best. Ah, I see. Although my brother likes that coffee. Yeah. It was pretty good, right? It, or that was the one that I hated and then liked okay yeah, after yeah. a while. Kind of got used to it. Yeah. Well, we still have some. It's been a while. Mm -hmm. It's probably just as good. It is in the back of a closet or pantry, mm -hmm. not a closet. It's not like in our clothes, collecting uh, dust from the clothes mm -hmm. in the pantry. But anyway, we've gone far past the four donut rating that we told you. Yes. I mean, it's time wise. Time wise. Time. time. Yeah. It's time okay. to wrap it up, I think, is what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. But you can't wrap it up in this because there's no um, little black band on it anymore. Yeah, it fell off. Yeah, that happens. We've talked about this with companies. <laughs> the only thing that the Sam's Club did that was good is that there was like a Ziploc type mm -hmm. yeah, thing. Yeah, they should all go to that. Yeah. The only problem with that, though, is that the opening was only this big. Mm. Was it? Okay. Okay. That big. So then it was like, I'm pouring the beans out. Mm -hmm. It was really hard to do, especially if you were going to put some back in it. Yeah. That was, that was tough. But the coffee's great. I was showing you the thing. Conservation International. Uh, as identified by the O with a line underneath it, so that you don't think it's a soft O, but a, <laughs> a long O, hard O, long, soft and long, short. The short is the little U thing, right? Umla? Short O. Is it no, 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 no. Lot is two dot. Oh right, yeah. What's the little U thing? Called? Short O. Long, oh. long O is the is above. O oh, right. Anyway. Ah uh, O. Oh. Uh, eh, eh, uh, uh. That's how we do it. All right. Enough vowel lessons for you <laughs> and for Kayla, who doesn't know them. Apparently not. All right. Uh, so pick up some of this coffee if you see it. Certainly on sale. It's really good. Mm -hmm. uh, or if you just have $20 that you want to spend on a bag of coffee, give us a gift. Yeah. That way you oh, know yeah. probably they'll like it. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think yeah. so. It would be a good gift for coffee. Yeah. All right. Well, anyway, thanks for joining us for yet another review on Coffee, Coffee, Coffee. And until next time, keep grinding.